Good morning, Mission Prep. I'm Alex. And I'm Andrea. Let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray the Hail Mary together today as we continue to honor the rosary during the month of October. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. International Club, there is a meeting today in room 306 at lunch. Please bring your food with you. All students are invited. Photography Club, there is a meeting tomorrow, Thursday at lunch in the art studio. Spanish Club, the first meeting is tomorrow in room 208 at lunch. All interested in the club may attend. Our goal is to have a better cultural understanding of the Spanish-speaking world. We will talk about the rules of the club, upcoming meeting dates, and officers. Bienvenidos al Club de Español. Now let's head over to Quentin and Brandon for the sports report. Welcome to the sports report. Girls basketball. All girls interested in playing JV basketball, please see Cross in the trophy lobby today at break for a quick meeting. All girls are invited, even if you did not play this summer. Tomorrow we have girls volleyball versus Rigetti. Frosh at 4 p.m., dismissal at 2.30, JV at 5, and varsity at 6. Tomorrow we also have varsity tennis at Arroyo Grande for the Pac-8 prelims. On Friday we have a huge football game versus Santa Maria. JV is at 4 and dismissal is at 2.45, varsity is at 7. That's all for good old-fashioned sporties. Back to Andrea and Alex. Well, see you later. All students interested in taking a Quest to College course spring semester, you must email Ms. Chasman or Mr. Mendoza by Friday, October 31st. To take and take the course, then try to add the course after the deadline. Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. Rile applications are due November 24th for the three-day leadership conference this coming spring. Miss Ham and Tori Smith can answer questions and give you an application. Now let's have a special report from Mrs. Shattuck. In our proactive approach to discussing alcohol and drug prevention, we have invited law enforcement to visit campus during the school days several times this year. We will have one of these visits within the month. Here's a description of what will take place when the Slow County Sheriff K-9 unit comes to MCP. Deputy Al Barger and a school resource officer will bring several police dogs trained in illicit substance detection. We will be searching classrooms, locker rooms, weight room locker room, lockers, and bathrooms. Here's what will happen when a classroom is searched. Students will be asked to leave all of their bags and belongings and exit the classroom. The teacher will escort the class to the cafe. The total time for a classroom search is estimated to take eight to 10 minutes. If the police dog alerts to a bag, such as there's an illicit substance sent on a bag, the bag will be searched by an MCP administrator. After the search, the teacher will be called into the cafe, in the cafe to return to the classroom with the students for the remainder of class. If no substance is found after a bag or locker is searched, the parent will be informed that the belongings were searched due to an alert, no consequences are given to that student. If a substance is found, the police will confiscate the substance, file a report with the court, and possibly make an arrest. MCP will act according to school policy. The goal of our collaboration with law enforcement is to expand our conversation with students and families about the importance of maintaining an educational setting that is consistently free from alcohol and drugs thus creating a safe and optimal learning environment. Please feel free, free to speak with me, Mrs. Shattuck, in room 311 with any questions. And now over to the amazing Kirsten and Paul for the food report. Welcome to the food report. We didn't get a menu today, but we do have the usuals. For break, we have sodas, water, chips, burritos. For lunch, we have soda, water, chips, hamburgers. That's all for today. Back to you. Costume contest. During the rally on Friday, Mr. Childs will be conducting a costume contest. He's offering $100 for first place, $50 for second, and smaller consolation prizes. Student faculty and staff are welcome to enter the contest. Some of the dress code that's okay for Halloween. Leggings, tight spandex, worn with shorts over them. Running shorts are okay as long as they're not short shorts. Leggings under regular length, th uh, skirts three inches above the knee. Hats, t-shirts, face paint, tutus with shorts underneath. Sleeveless shirts are okay, and shoulders and flip-flops. Dress code no-nos. Tutus with tight spandex leggings underneath. You must wear shorts, too. Spaghetti straps, leggings, tights, and spandex only. All students, to celebrate the upcoming senior night this coming Friday, the entire school body is invited to the football team dinner this Thursday. You can get a great tri-tip sandwich meal for only $5 at 7. Students who are not football players, please raise your hand right now if you are planning on getting a tri-tip sandwich meal at the bonfire. Teachers, please count them. 
Teachers, send Mr. Cross an email of the number of hands you just counted now. Thank you. There will be a bonfire ceremony on the field, complete with football highlights from recent games and personalized messages from each of the seniors to celebrate their time on the team. And we would love everyone to attend this special night. College representative visits. Students all grade levels are encouraged to attend today, TCU, during lunch in the pack. Tomorrow, Thursday, University of Colorado, during lunch in the pack. College fairs, there are next, uh, college fairs next Monday, there are two must-attend college fairs. I can speak. <laughs> First is MCP's own mini-fair held at lunch in our gym. We had over 20 must-see colleges who will be sharing information from UC Berkeley and UCSB to Westmont, St. Mary's, and Hawaii Pacific. Everyone, please come. The second college night in 2014 at Cuesta College. There will be representative from over 70 colleges and universities around the world. College application workshops and more. All students are encouraged to send, attend. See Ms. Chasman for more information. And that's all we have. Have a nice day.